So, what do you do? Well, fellow hockey fan, check out this latest blog that the people at Camp Instructor have just released. In today's blog, we're going to continue looking at the linking parameters page. This video will focus on the feed plane setting. The previous videos in this series cover the difference between absolute, incremental, and associative, so we will only look at those parameters in respect to their effect on the feed plane setting. From the Mastercam help files, we can read the definition of feed plane. Feed plane sets the height that the tool rapids to before changing to the plunge rate to enter the part. This height will also be used if you do not specify both a clearance and a retract height. Let's now make a few tool paths to explain these. On this sample part, I'm going to create a contour operation to cut both end arcs. Notice I've changed the geometry at the top of the part. My default settings on the linking parameters page come in as shown, but I'll make a few adjustments. Clearance is enabled and set to 2 inches absolute. I will also enable use clearance only at the start and end radio button. Retract is enabled and I will increase this to half an inch absolute. Feed plane is set at 0.2 incremental. Top of stock 0, absolute, and finally set the depth at negative 1 inch, absolute, and create the toolpath. The analyze toolpath function can be used to examine the resulting toolpath. We can see the toolpath starts at 2 inches in Z. The L line represents a rapid motion, while the blue is a feeding motion, and we can see this transition happens at positive 0.2 in Z. This is coming from the feed plane setting. Rapid is switching to feed 200,000 incrementally from Z from the top of stock. In this case, having the feed plane set to absolute would result the same. However, the next transition will show one reason why an incremental setting may be preferred. Looking at the toolpath once the contour has been cut, notice the short blue line. This feed line starts at Z-1 and continues up to Z-0.8. This is the feed plane setting being used again. Since the cut is complete, the top of stock is now at negative 1 inch. Since an incremental feed plane value is based on the top of stock, we get the transition to rapid at negative 0.8 inches. If the feed plane is set to absolute 0.2, the Z feeding motion at the end of the contour will continue all the way up to Z positive 0.2 inches, which will result in a longer cycle time. With the feed plane set back to incremental, let's look at the remaining positions in this toolpath. Next is the transition to the next chain in the operation, which, since retract is enabled, that height will be used. This was set at half of an inch and is reflected in the operation. At the next chain, we can see the same behavior as the start of the toolpath. Feed motion in Z begins 200 thou above the top of stock. Since this is a new uncut chain, the toolpath knows not to use the ending top of stock value from the previous chain. Another example of feed plane's use especially when it comes to cycle time improvements, is when using depth cuts. For this example, I will turn depth cuts on and set it to quarter inch step and set feed plane to 50 thou incremental. Running this toolpath through back plot, notice the toolpath transitions from rapid to feed at 0 0.05 in Z. This cut happens at negative one quarter inch, feeds up Z 50 thou from the cut to negative 0.2 at the end, rapids to the retract plane of half an inch positive, repositions for the next cut, and this time rapids to negative 0.2. The last depth cut happened at negative 0.25, so the operation sees this as the new top of stock and starts feeding 50 thou above that. With each successive cut, the top of stock in the operation is updated and the toolpath rapids to within 50 thou of that. If an absolute or associative value is used, these feeding motion transitions will always happen at the same Z location. Even with the transitions happening 50 thou above stock, in a part like this, we may want to wrap it all the way down to the cut height. If you are confident that it is safe to move down to the cut depth in a rapid motion and simply increasing the plunge feed rate is not sufficient, the feed plane can be cheated by setting it to any value equal to or lower than the depth of the operation. The setting method, absolute, incremental, or associative, is not important if the resulting calculation results in a position below the next cut. With this setting method, notice the toolpath now rapids all the way down to the cut depth. Caution should be exercised when toolpathing in this manner. 
Stay tuned for the next video, which will continue thorough examination of the linking parameters.